Okay, y'all. Hey, another episode of Ronnie Bites. Today, we are at Habibi Grill and Bakery on Method Road in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is the inside. Soup's cute. And this is their menu. Everything is really affordable and everything tastes great. As you can see, they have a wide selection. And this is a still shot so you guys can actually look. But I had an amazing experience. Oh, there's me. She's cute, right? So let's dive in. So one of the first things I wanted was some hot tea and some lemonade. So you see that here. It was very good. And I'm really excited to tell you guys about this. Bam. The lentil soup. Oh my gosh, you guys. So good. Okay, and so I got the kebab platter. I got two kebabs there with Mandy Rice. Um, there's the tzatziki and the homemade pita bread, as well as the spicy chutney. I don't know what it's called, but it was super good. Um, and yes, you guys can see everything is plated so nice, but let me tell you, this lentil soup was legit. Like, mm, 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 mm. So I highly recommend. My whole meal was under $20, you guys. I don't have the receipt, but I know that it was under $20, and then I tipped, so it was like 25 so you want a good meal I definitely recommend and this is everything I got okay so trying the lentil soup and yeah <laughs> it's good I put lemon in it never had that before really tasty and smooth I don't know why it is that I dance when I'm happy but <laughs> Yeah, you'll notice there's like some weird light flares. It's from the lights at the top. I can't really do anything about it, so sorry. But yes, guys, the soup was so creamy and flavorful. Adding the lemon just gave it like a zing that kind of cut through the smooth, lentily nutty flavor. There were some other spices in there that I didn't really know, but oh man, it was super good. So at this time, I'm also uh, listening to a video for a homework assignment. I'm very happy about this soup, though. It's so good. It stayed hot because it took me a while to get situated. Um, but yes, really, really, really recommend. And it's free. You get that uh, with your entree. So yay. So, as you can see, like Babish says, I'm a member of the Clean Bowl Club. <laughs> it was really, really good. Okay, so as you can see, my two kebab platter and now the pita and tzatziki. So, I'm going to give that a try. The pita bread was very fluffy and it looked like it was made in restaurant. Very good. Really great flavor. And mm -hmm. the tzatziki, you could tell, was homemade. Um, really fresh veggies in it. Really creamy, good flavor. So like I said, this is some kind of spicy chutney that I wanted to try with the pita bread. I didn't know it was spicy initially, by the way. Um, but <laughs> it was really good. It had like a zippy flavor to it. Yeah, <laughs> and like onions and tomatoes, so I recommend both of those. I'm not sure if I was supposed to eat it with pita, but I did. So having more delicious pita, it is very fresh and fluffy. Having it with some more of the tzatziki, so good. And the creaminess of the tzatziki balanced out against the spiciness of the chutney. I went back and forth with that, real good. 
Okay, so now time to try the platter and I'm really excited because everything is good and the guy at the counter suggested I have Mandy rice so I'm gonna try that out I've never had it before and definitely highly recommend it has a really good spiced interesting flavor I love trying foods that I haven't had before because it's like your taste buds get a party and it's like oh unexpected surprise so there's the Mandy rice as you can see very good um, it was a lot I didn't eat all the rice because <laughs> I have to watch carbs but mm -hmm, definitely recommend So having rice, doing homework, really enjoying the experience. It's a really nice vibe in there. The atmosphere is cool. I don't know if he had um, lit the incense yet, but at one point he did, and it smelled so good in there. Okay. So I just left. Um, it was a very good value. And... The food was really good and really fresh. I will definitely be back. This is actually my second time coming here. So I'll definitely be back. Okay, so I'm in the car and I can give a more like detailed or specific review or whatever. <clears throat> so Habibi Grill and Bakery is on Method Road in Raleigh. It is close to NC State University where I've been utilizing their library. Um, since I'm distance ed for ECU and I need more of the resources that the college library has as I was completing my research paper and everything. Um, so on my way to the library, I thought I would stop here because I grabbed dinner from here previously and it was very good. And I definitely wanted to tell you guys about it. So yes, Habibi Grill and Bakery on Method Road in Raleigh, North Carolina. So good. Um... Really, ex uh, really extensive menu. Everything is very fresh. I had something called Mandy Rice. So good. The tzatziki is fantastic. The pita tastes like it's made in restaurant. Um, it was a very good dining, like eating experience. <clears throat> I don't like being over checked on, so there was a lot of those interactions after I was kind of clear, like, I got it, I'll do this, that I, let me be, babe, I got it. But other than that, highly recommend. It's got a cool little patio out front, and as it's getting warm, it'll definitely be a nice place to come and eat, as long as it's not too hot. It's pretty nice out today, so, um, but I ate inside, and while we were eating, um, the waiter lit some really good smelling incense. At first it was really pungent and I got it in my mouth and I was like, this rice tastes like incense. But um, yeah, it was good. It was so good. Such a good vibe. I definitely And so it. I got the lentil soup, the extra pita with tzatziki and some sort of spicy chutney type sauce. If I remember it, I'll stick it in. But it was very good. And then I got the kebab platter with a lamb kebab and a different type of kebab, which I will also stick in when I remember what it's called, and the mandy rice. It was all delicious and fresh, and I'm full but not stuffed, which is what you're supposed to be, like, satisfied. So, yes, I tell you. And as someone who loves lentil soup, top tier. And I never put lemon in my lentil soup before. Talk about elevating it. So for my individual review of each thing, I would give the kebab platter eight nibbles out of 10 bites. I would give the pita bread 8.5 nibbles out of 10 bites. I would give the lentil soup 10 out of 10. 10 nibbles out of 10 bites, baby. Mm, so good. And um, oh, the Mandy rice. I guess that's a part of the platter, but I'll still rate that because that was really good and I never had before. And that was definitely like a 9.5. We'll just say a 10 out of 10 on the Mandy rice too. 
So, yeah. 10 nibbles out of 10 bites on that too. So overall, overall, I would definitely give Hubby Bee Grill and Bakery 8.75 nibbles out of 10 bites. So if you're in the Raleigh area, it's a good place to go. It is off of 440 East or West, so you can access it that way. If you're like coming from elsewhere, you actually have to come kind of into Raleigh to come, but it's definitely worth it. I know that there's like a lot with the Canes going on and at the PNC Arena, so they are open. Not super, super late, but late enough that maybe you'd be able to grab a bite afterwards or before. So yeah, definitely Ronnie approved. I really enjoy coming to spots so I can explore the food cultures, uh, the foods of other cultures, and like I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, if you guys have any recommendations of places that you've been that you think I should try, I'm willing to travel to go there. So let me know. I mean, I'm probably not going to fly to LA to go to Fixins, but if I'm out in the area, I'm going to go to Fixins, but you guys know what I mean. Like, I'll go to Greensboro. So. Okay, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ronnie Bites. Thank you so much for watching, and have a delicious rest of your day.